welcome back to learn economia today we are going to look at the efficiency and equity considerations of taxation let's have a look into this moving to the efficiency considerations of taxation we can see that tax efficiency would be minimizing the cost associated with complying with the tax code and this will definitely help to reduce the administrative burden of taxation and also this would be helping us to minimize all the distortionary effect that would be happening as a result of taxation reducing administrative burden of tax not only benefit the tax payers but also we could see that this would be benefiting the whole economy let's look at the details of this we need that somebody called tax accountants we need somebody called lawyers when it comes to something called tax why this happen we know that the income tax department give certain guidelines they will be issuing certain guidelines they will be issuing certain rules they will put forward some rules they will put forward some notifications they will put forward some address so why this is being done so this is being done by the income tax department to let people know about the changes but in the guidelines in the rules in the notifications in the uh, addresses addressing etc that is being done by the income tax department they will be using certain technical terms they will be using certain jargons and for the very same reason it would be very much difficult for the people the common people to understand the same and for the very same reason it is very much required to have some simplification of tax code simplification of tax code is required otherwise people won't be able to understand what is that is told by the income tax department and in order to understand this what we do is that we just we just go and meet the tax accountants we just go and seek the service of tax consultants lawyers etc but actually when it comes to their work just think about a situation of the simplified tax code if the tax code is a simplified one common people could understand it and they could file their income taxes without seeking the assistance of tax accountants and lawyers so tax efficiency deals with simplification of tax code also again another important objective that comes with the efficiency consideration of tax is reduction of dead weight loss we could see that whenever there is dead weight loss dead weight loss is something that will lead to reduction in consumer surplus consumer surplus will be coming down again we could see that producer surplus would be coming down and also we could see that the government revenue would be coming down and why this is being happening because the quantity that is there in the economy would also be coming down for this very same reason it would be a total loss to the economy whenever there is a new tax whenever we say efficiency of taxation consideration is there to reduce the dead weight loss associated with tax we actually mean it we are here to consider some impact of did uh, some impact of tax on consumer surplus and producer surplus government revenue and quantity but we just want to minimize this effect definitely as a result of new tax consumer surplus would be coming down government revenue would be coming down producer surplus would be coming down and also quantity would be coming down but we have to minimize this fall in the surpluses revenue and quantity and taxes in certain cases would also cause some economic dis distortions 
and when we say efficiency consideration of tax tax should not distort economic decisions for example let's think that the income tax in the economy is more if there is a rise in income tax people would feel reluctant to work more or they will be just having a disincentive to work for this will act as a disincentive for people people to work for more hours why because they think that why should i work for more hours even if i work for more hours the government would be extracting a huge sum of money from me in the form of tax so this will make people to go for less hours of work and whenever people go for less hours of work this will be reducing the output in the economy and whenever output is being reduced this will be cre creating a fall in the income of the economy this will affect the growth prospects of the economy in a negative manner we don't do we don't want this we just want to deal with this distortionary decisions we do not want tax to distort the economic decisions of people so whenever we call a tax as an efficient tax that would be having minimum distortionary effect now having discussed the dis case with efficiency consideration let's come to the equity aspect of tax when we say tax follows some equity criteria what we mean is that the tax would be fair and when we say tax is fair we have to consider the two aspects one is vertical equity and the other one is horizontal equity what does it mean by vertical equity and what does it mean by horizontal equity how can you make these two things different in the case of vertical equity what we could see is that people with more income would be making more tax and people with lesser income will be going for less tax so this is something that is related to what is called progressive taxation one with more income will pay high tax and one with less income pay less tax so this is something that deals with the ability to pay tax when we say tax should be fair we deal with ability to pay tax again having said about vertical equity let's come to the concept of horizontal equity in the case of horizontal equity people might be having same income but we should make people to go for different levels of tax why because they might be having different expenses to understand this let's compare two people person a and person b and let's assume that both of them are having 35000 rupees as their income but what will happen if both of them pay the same tax as per their income actually they have to pay the same rate of tax in the economy or same uh, amount of tax to the government but we have to consider something called other factors for example person a might be having two children whereas person b might be having four children in certain instances we could see that person a might be having no loan and no debt whereas person b might be having huge debts with bank in such an instance we have to go for some consideration to person p so as to make him go for less levels of taxation and this is what is being followed in our nation also if government employees and all they produce some uh, documents showing that they have uh, a loan in the bank this would be something that can be considered to reduce their income tax actually this is not a tax evasion that people who have taken loans from the bank is doing actually this is as per the rules of the government this is as per the uh, guidelines provided by the income tax department that they are trying to make some reductions in their tax this is something which is allowed by the government again to make people pay tax as per their ability 
that's all about the equity and efficiency considerations of taxation hope you could understand i request you to like share subscribe to this channel for more videos also you can join our telegram community for free i'll be providing the link in the description box so that you can join it from there and discuss your doubts there also you can download the learn economy app for which also i'll be providing the link in the description box that's it thank you